All the custom bikes you will see on this introduction, were built by the same team. And they all say three things about the builder. Consistency. Good taste. And versatility. No wonder this is the third video I make. About one of their works. As most of you may know, this channel only presents projects that I really like. Yes, I know it is a terrible strategy to attract a wide audience. But this is also the only way to attract you. The ones that are trying to find the right lines, the perfect solution, and enjoying the same passion. In other words, looking for inspiration. Welcome to Racer TV. It has been a while since the last Honda CX was presented on this channel. Never thought I would say this sentence. Especially because the CX model is one of the most popular motorcycles among all cafe racer enthusiasts. No, not because it is an easy bike to be customized. Quite the opposite. It is pretty hard to make of it a good looking project. And why? Well, we just need to see how many bikes have a similar layout like the CX. And if you are thinking about the Moto Guzzi, I will have to disagree. But I'll explain all that, in just a few minutes. This bold Honda, is the latest work, from David Widman, founder of the National Custom Tech, located in Austria. You may still remember him, from this stunning BMW that I presented a few years ago and also from this gorgeous Honda CX. One of the things I admire about this builder is the fact that he is always trying different approaches. But he also has a production line of custom Ducatis. The Evo Racer. As you saw on the introduction, David and his team already worked on dozens of completely different motorcycles, trying different styles on many of them. And this Honda is one more proof of that. Before you judge this project, I am going to ask you wait a few minutes. Because I am going to prove on Photoshop, how this project is way better than you think. Trust me. Because you are going to be amazed, by how this cafe racer is really awesome. So. The project started with a 1982 Honda CX, which interestingly, was a barn find in France. It was commissioned by a client from Dubai, who wanted a classic Honda twin, having some ideas to customize it. After some back and forth, they reached a consensual design for the project. And two years later, it was finally finished. I have to admit that these lines, are quite daring. But the truth is, the project turned out to be quite beautiful. David made the right decision to ditch the original subframe, and create a monoshock suspension instead. Otherwise, this thin and sharp rear section, would look awkward. The fuel tank in this panel, are made from aluminium. They were completely handmade in Slovenia, by ER Motorcycles. But what is curious, is the rear cowl. 
It is a 3D printed section. With a very minimalist LED light. Nicely integrated in the middle. Without a doubt. Everything was exceptionally well thought. Another very original detail is these custom made radiator covers. They really make a huge difference on the final look of the project. Especially from the side profile. Notice how they help to increase the engine's size, creating also a fluid connection between the cylinder heads and the fuel tank. The paint color may look like black, but curiously, it is a dark green chosen from Aston Martin's samples, earning it the nickname Valkyrie, just like one of their supercars. Although I think this project is brilliant, there is just one thing that I simply can't ignore. I think the original Comstar wheels don't do the project justice. Considering the project was commissioned by a client, it is natural to conclude that there was a budget to consider. Therefore, I believe David had to maintain the wheels to respect the budget. But as I'm curious, I decided to make a quick experiment in Photoshop. I knew from the beginning that it was going to look very good. But I wasn't expecting it to look magnificent. Then I decided to lower the suspensions, and the end result is simply breathtaking. What a spectacular project. These spoked wheels make a huge difference. I know that adapting this kind of wheels on a Honda CX is not an easy job. But looking at these transitions, it's really worth it. Speaking about spoked wheels, they are definitely not a problem for most Moto Guzis. As I said earlier, I don't agree when someone says that the Honda CX has a similar layout. The cylinders may have a similar architecture, but everything else is different. The CX engine is shorter, is taller, and the cylinders are placed in a different angle. This also means that the frames have a completely different format. And these are only the most obvious differences. That is why I said the Honda CX has a very unique layout. Because all the proportions are different from any other motorcycle. And this is one more reason that makes me believe that David did a really good job on this project. And if it had the right wheels, I would say that this Honda is one of the most stunning CXs I have ever seen. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.